So I just finished sleeping out here in this uh, teepee fort in this beautiful forest. And uh, it was minus seven last night. So everything's frozen. There's a lot of airflow that moves through the teepee, uh, through the bottom, through the top. And so uh, the only bit of warmth I had was a few candles going to keep my water bottle from freezing up. But before I get into the snug pack, soft ant Arctica review, I just want to show you my layers because you can't completely depend on the sleeping bag when you start to push it to the colder end of its range. So on my feet, I've got two pairs of wool socks. I also have two merino wool sweaters. And then I've got a pair of sweatpants on and then another big heavy duty wool hoodie. So that's all in my body. Those are my body layers. So I'm already pretty snug and warm. Then on top of the whole outer layer, I've got one big wool blanket covering my whole sleeping setup. Around my sleeping bag, I have this bivy, which I just made from a bed sheet. It's just a basic bed sheet. Uh, it's cotton. But what I like about it is it's really soft, so I can pull it up over my, over my face so that I'm not breathing into my sleeping bag. And then I can kind of pull that down over the zipper and any of the Velcro here that keeps everything snug. And this is just like kind of a nice soft spot for my chin to be in my face. Then I got the sleeping bag. So this is... Like I said, the uh, Snug Pack Soft Antarctica, which I'm reviewing today. And uh, then underneath that, I've got another thin wool blanket. And then this is just like that egg foam stuff that you can get for a bed. Uh, I like this better than an air mattress. I find air mattresses, I'm slipping around and I don't like having to blow them up. And this seems to be good for me. And then underneath that, I've got uh, just a, basically a moisture bearing layer. This is so that no moisture that I'm sleeping on, whether it's wet ground or snow, comes through and starts to soak up my layers from below. So this is just recycled from an old uh, air mattress. It had a hole in it, so I cut the section of it off, cut half of it off, and now I just use it as my, my ground mat. So these are my final thoughts on the Snug Pack Softy Antarctica sleeping bag. Uh, it's got some really great features. This uh, pocket on the inside, I didn't think I would use, but when it gets really cold like this, your batteries on your cell phones don't last long. So being able to put it inside here with you is a really nice feature. The little pocket for the head uh, held my pillow really nice. My pillow never slept, slipped around at all. It's got extra padding here uh, and down layers around the neck that cinch up around your neck. And, uh, and then it has little Velcro straps here um, that do up at the end of the zipper. And I do suggest you use these because one night I didn't do them up and I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm kind of cold. And uh, I was kind of blaming the sleeping bag until I realized that my zipper was down to my waist. So I guess as I was tossing and turning, the zipper went down. But ever since I started using these Velcro uh, latches at the top, I've never had that problem. Uh, I slept in it five nights altogether, and when paired with proper dry base layers and, and proper layers underneath you, it it's, can handle pretty cold temperatures. It was minus seven last night, and I was warm, absolutely warm. So as far as uh, comfort goes, I would say it's a 10 out of 10. It's just a really soft and snug <laughs> sleeping bag. It's really cozy. Uh, as far as durability and make, I'd say it's um, pretty good. I, when I'm inside, I can see light through the zipper area. So I'm gonna give it maybe an eight and a half on, on make quality, but I mean, it's been holding up great. I, I, it's maybe, maybe a nine. Uh, as far as overall warmth goes, I do have warmer sleeping bags, so I can't really give it a huge uh, rating on that. So I'm gonna say it's about a seven, but again, with paired with proper wool, wool layers, it's a great sleeping bag for all, all four seasons. Uh, maybe not hot summer days, but yeah, really great sleeping bag, really comfortable. It's been doing me well. I highly recommend it. This is the Antarctica, uh, Softy Antarctica by Snug Pack. So yeah, if you're into, into, uh, into getting a new sleeping bag, uh, look into this one. It's great.